Now let's move on to Hialeah and a noisy crowd behind CBS 4's Francis Wang right now. Francis, a lot of drama before this race. People have their emotions high tonight. How's voter turnout been there? Yeah, Lauren Elliott, well, you can see the voter turnout here at JFK Library in Hialeah has been strong. A huge crowd of Bovo supporters actually just started showing up in the last hour or so, really before polls closed. But all through the afternoon, we saw again, like I mentioned, consistent voter turnout here at JFK Library. A lot of supporters for all the candidates, and they're all excited, waiting for results tonight. Campaign volunteers on megaphones hoping to secure those final votes. Esteban Bobo, numero 160. Five candidates lined up to be Hialeah's next mayor. Among them, a former city mayor, a third time candidate, and a recent county mayor runner up. I believe in Bobo because I, I live in Hialeah many years, and uh, he's doing a terrific job. Many here for front runners, Esteban Bovo and Isis Garcia Martinez. Like, Isis, I think she's, she's, really, she's really good with that. Uh, I, I see her supporting a lot of elders. Voters shared what issues were most important to them. I don't like uh, pretty much uh, the government taking a role, a big role on the, on the economy and on the pretty much uh, decisions of small business owners. Especially for us that it's a, a family community that we have a lot of children. There's been a lot of accidents. We have no access to fire department, no police department, and it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous, and that's a very big concern for us. The main thing for me is to help all the elders because of my grandma. For some, it wasn't about the issues, but rather the endorsements. It's a recommendation by Trump is what I'm going for mainly, too. So. Have you uh, spent some time as well researching Bovo himself and some of his no, platform issues? No, no, not at all. Younger voters like 20-year-old Ama Roylam wanting a bigger turnout. I, I think that more uh, young people should come out and vote. People think that it's not going to change uh, uh, just from one day to another, but that's how, how things happen. The two front runners, Esteban Bobo and Isis Garcia Martinez, have planned parties tonight where they'll be watching those results with their families and their supporters. Again, a really big crowd supporting Esteban Bobo showing up at JFK Library in Hialeah just before polls closing tonight. Live in Hialeah, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.